I just want a standstill EK on Volk T37s. I'll explain later. We just want to stand out okay i gotta grab some tools my buddy matt is gonna come with his truck and trailer and we're gonna see if we can get this thing on it this thing is static this thing is low as can be with lots of camber i've never won anything in my life and this is absolutely wild let's grab some tools i'm definitely gonna need it we might have to take off the bumper to get the car in and uh let's just uh yeah let's go i'm just Almost like speechless, very close to being speechless. Definitely don't need the caulking, but we'll definitely probably get some once people see the CK. The, we're gonna bring a ratchet set, and then I'm gonna bring some wood just in, ow, some wood just in case. We are going to need, most likely a screwdriver, we'll grab a clip remover, and, a flat head in case we have to take more stuff off i think that is everything that i need we're just taking off the front bumper hopefully there's nothing weird all right it is here the truck and trailer are all over there i can see them i can see you boys are here matt's here with this truck and trailer you're an absolute g because without you i'd have to rent a u-haul and possibly not get it on there so i've been trying to kill people on the drive up have you Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this is why I told him like just park outside the area because then there's a little tight. <laughs> well you gotta get tight to the curb, bud. You gotta get tight to the curb, bud. What's up? It's fine. This is it's a full adventure today. Oh uh, Matt's got the dope sweater, eh? A few of us got it. That was a limited run. I was gonna wear mine with this. I, 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 was gonna, I swear to God, I was gonna wear mine. I'm like, I have a feeling one of them are gonna wear theirs. And I'm like, I gotta wear the Honda EK. Yeah, I knew he was gonna wear it. Yeah. Yeah. This is a one of one. It's got Husky over on it. It's okay. So, this is the EK. This is Justin from Dead and Gone Airs. You guys probably know. this guy to buy a spot. He did, he did. I'm he's not going to a good home. Yeah. He's going to a good I'm home. not lying to you guys. Like, he's like, yo, you should buy a spot. I'm like, I don't know, man. He messaged me on Instagram a couple days later. He's like, yo, they're filling up. You should buy a spot. I just, <laughs> I just got back from SEMA and I missed the draw. I, I entered in an EK giveaway. I did not think I would win. My buddy's like, yo, just put a hundred bucks and never know. And I was like, okay, I missed the draw. I saw someone tag me in one of my photos. Like, congrats on the EK. I'm like, no way. I go look at the live draw and I won myself a B18 EK stand song folks. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is, I don't know where I'm going to put it. <laughs> I got to figure out life, but I'm ecstatic. I've never won anything in my life. Yo, look at the sweat on that forehead. Like, like, I'm sweating. So sweating. I, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Check it out. <laughs> I can't freaking believe it. I can't believe I won myself an EK. This is... I am mind blasted. I am mind blown. 
I'm so excited. This is a 2000 EK. It's on real Volt T37s, painted not too long ago. The car has a full lip kit around, suspension is all done. We'll definitely do a full review of the car to see what's really done to it, uh, or what's done to it in depth afterwards. This doesn't feel real, I don't think this is mine. It makes zero sense. My brain is so boggled. And um, yeah, so we have a new project on the channel. <laughs> Insane. It's pretty clean, dude. Like, yeah. Dude, holy shit. Frame rails, everything looks pretty good. It does, I still don't feel like it's mine. I, I, I still don't feel like this is mine. This is insane. Like, the, I'm like. Goes to SEMA, comes back to SEMA. Yeah. Just tagged my story. Freaks out. Yeah. Did you get him? Vlog. Oh, 100%. A hundred and ten percent. It's uh, it was it was an incredible kind of story. So, I uh, so the whole story kind of I'm gonna go in depth later in this video, but pretty much is like I was going to Vegas. I didn't have any street legacy gear ready for myself, so I was like, I want to rock some local brands. I messaged him, and then got some good air shit. Got some air stuff, which I think I'm actually wearing underneath this sweater. You know, for good luck and uh, wild. It doesn't even feel like it's mine. I feel like I'm picking it up for like you guys. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this is like I won't feel like it's mine until it's inside the house. We're gonna take the front bumper off because you guys see how low it is, obviously. And uh, I brought some tools just in case. I, I it's words are hard now because I've never won anything in my life, and to win something of this caliber is quite incredible. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> I want a car for a hundred bucks. It is clean. Like this thing's got cop siren and he's like, what? I'm like, it's, it's a show car, it's for fun. Yeah, he's yeah. like, let me hear it. Fucking, he's like, that's so illegal. I'm like, I know, but it's just for fun. Yeah, yeah, it's, you're at a show. You're not driving it, it's not on the road. I'm definitely gonna explain to you guys how this all happened in the story later in this video. Cause it's definitely, you'll see some clips of me actually winning it. Like my wife was actually, Alexander's like taking videos of it. And I was like, oh damn. And I'm like, why'd you take videos? She was like, so that you can put in your video. I'm like, damn, that was solid. <laughs> yeah, what's the plan for this thing? Okay, so I do have the full authentic type X kit inside, all painted. I just can't put it on because I gotta weld the floor at the, uh, or the driver's seat and the front frame rails, typical no, 240 bullshit. Yeah. Probably should have done that before I painted the car. But I kind of got fucked over by a shop that I didn't know was as bad as it was. So here we are. I've had it for three years. It's still not running. It's okay. But that's a project. We got the full top bag. Yeah, I was looking at this. Um, this, this looks like incredible. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up putting an LS in it. Full authentic type X kit. Painted it Montego Blue off the RX-7. I'm going to turn it over. It's going to be a streaming cam V8. I think it'll be fun. That'd be freaking so, dope, dude. It has un un uncracked dash, so you know. That's like a huge thing, eh? Like, I don't know a lot about 240s, but I heard like the crack dash is like the, one of the most common things. Damn, dude. Need some work, a lot of work, but... Be what people are like, we're in a country where we see salt, we see all this shit yeah. all year long, and like, if you can get a clean chassis, that's like, yeah. it's insane here. So, I only paid four grand for it. That's a solid uh, deal. I'm the third owner on it, there's 200k on the car. Damn. Can't Damn. complain. No, especially for a, a 240. It's, dude, good, good for you, man. Good for you. <laughs> This thing's sick. I like the paint a lot. That's really nice. God damn. I've I've debated. I'm like, should I wrap this? Cause the 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 color is so clean like that. I can have that like color last even longer. I'm like, do I wrap it and then? I do. I do. That's why like even my beer is that like metallic gray and stuff like that.
This isn't real life. This is a simulation. This does not make sense. This is wild. <laughs> Cody, how's your poison coffee? It's insane. Cody, I don't know how you have an espresso in this bitch? <laughs> Cody pretty much has like my coffee order, but made with cream since they messed up. So this is what happens when you can't sleep and you have a kid. Good thing I'm that, not going to bed right after this. Yeah, that, that is definitely like a poison right there, but yeah. it's the poison that keeps me up. <laughs> this is like 10 shots of Russian vodka. <laughs> no, I'd rather take that. <laughs> Mr. AJ coming in clutch, letting me. Yo, your hair looks fresh, eh? Did you? You're cute. Letting me store the car here for just a little bit till I figure it out. I owe you. Ah, of course we we got the lowest car ever that I've ever owned in my life, and somehow we're gonna have to get across here and get it into AJ's garage over here this should be interesting luckily we have some great minds on set here and uh matt and cody come up with a great idea so shoveling the dirt over. yo soon i'm gonna get the gravel there hey i'm gonna start shoveling gravel here filling it in for them i'm gonna do the job what do you think what do you think crazy looks pretty good though yeah yeah the paint and everything looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie the trailer oh, slammed <laughs> holy shit Yo, Matt, Matt's a champ, eh? This is not easy. We are going to take this out. This is, we're in a, a very tight situation. Very tight. Very tight, but... Uh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Because Matt, Cody, and everyone here are geniuses. Except me. Uh, Except I wouldn't me. say genius. Well, you guys got it. So now I gotta, I gotta get my fat ass into there, so... And a rocket forward. Okay, and the whole brick? Yeah. Or e brake. Isn't the e brake already up? No, I just took it off. Oh, um, how am I gonna do this? Put in on the seat. Stance cars. <laughs> hey, just unlucky that he's having construction in his area right now. He shot this piece of whatever. What a process. I feel horrible right now for all you guys. The <laughs> fucking you, mission. <laughs> dude. The only thing this is, when you get to this yeah. is stance car problems. If this was like decent height, I'd be able to just drive right in. This is wild stuff. Very, very <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Matt. I'd be more worried about uh, the car. Oh, I don't know. Oh, because the thing on the trailer, like, it, you can tell that it bent a little bit, so I'd be more worried about your car. Oh, that's okay. It's underneath. I'm sure he, yeah. he, he's hit, like, worse things. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. Here's the Scrape getting in and out of the garage too. <laughs> what? what was that all about? Hey, at least it's out now. Well, we made it. <laughs> I want to like thank you. Matt's like, he's <laughs> Look the at best. his face. <laughs> How's your trailer? Did you zoom in? <laughs> Is it? Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry, dude. My God. Underneath, hey, don't be too concerned about underneath because I'm sure it's been scraped up quite a bit. Yeah, what's your thoughts? It's crazy. $100. For a hundred bucks? Never go wrong. Yeah, so I'm not going to go into depth with what this car has, but I was, you guys can obviously see it's on Volks, painted. Uh, it's a static car, which I may have to change a few things to be a little more drivable. But uh, we'll go into a whole breakdown in a future video. But. Here it is. I want to thank AJ for housing it. All my friends over here for helping me pick it up. You guys are amazing. This is this is insane. I I, I can't believe it. What did you pick out the wrong window? <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Wild. I am finally home and I want to thank everyone who has helped me get this car home. Thank you to AJ for allowing me to keep it there until I figure things out here for space wise. Thank you to Matt, Cody and Bree. Thank you guys so much uh, for helping me offload it and pick it up. If it wasn't for you guys, I would have to get a U-Haul and even struggle probably 10 times harder by myself. So I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you. And for all you guys are wondering, how did I end up with a stanced out static EK on Volks with a B series in it? Here's a story. This is pre SEMA. This is a couple the week before SEMA and I did not have any street legacy gear ready to go to wear. And I wanted to rock some local brands down there. So I messaged Justin, he's the owner of Airs and Dead and Gone. And I'm like, yo, dude, do you have any shirts available? I wanna rock some local brands when I'm down there and I love your stuff. Justin's like, dude, check these out. I'll hook you up and uh, I'll drop it off at Garage 16 for you. And I'm like, damn, that's dope. So he came by and we shoot the shit, you know, uh, we've met I think once before that. He's like, yo, you should enter in my EK waffle giveaway. And I was like, I don't know, man. I usually don't win these type of things. So I don't, I don't usually enter. And so that's all, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. So that day went by a few days later, he messages me. He's like, yo, spots are filling up. You should enter. And I was like, I'll let you know. So I sat there a couple hours later. I was like, you know what? What's a hundred bucks? I'll buy one ticket. I'm going to lose it at Vegas anyway at the casino. So I look at all the spots. My favorite number is two. And I see two is available, but then something's like, just choose 102, you know, something higher up in the list. I said, sure. So I choose 102, I give them the money, and uh, the giveaway was so the live draw was uh, two days after I got back from SEMA. Uh, things were still hectic here at home. I was getting things in order, was taking care of uh, my kid, and then I wasn't even paying attention to the raffle. An hour or two hours after the raffle, I. Uh, I checked my phone and someone comments on one of my SEMA photos, congrats on the EK. I was like, congrats on the EK, what are they talking about? And I just clicked, I was like, damn, did I win the EK raffle giveaway? I'm like, there's no way. I go look and he rolls a dice, the dice lands on six, two dices, he rolls, lands on six and he generates it. He generates the name six times and it lands on 102. So I got myself a super clean EK hatch that has custom spindles, full suspension and stance on Volks, as you guys can see. Uh, I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I just want to thank Justin for sending me that one more message he sent me, you know, saying, hey, you know, you should do it. it's just a hundred bucks. And I just want to thank you. If you didn't do that, I wouldn't have this EK in my possession. 
and I've never won anything in my life, so it's a very weird and surre surreal feeling. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've always wanted an EK hatch. I just couldn't justify spending the money on one, right? Like I, I just didn't want to spend 10K on a clean shell. So I spent $100 on one spot and I won an EK for $100. There was 150 spots. So my chances were one in 150 and I got it. Life works like mysterious ways. I don't even feel like I still own it until I guess I start driving it around. Um, I have some ideas what I want to do, but I want to hear from you guys. Do I keep a standstill? We have one standstill car on the channel. Do I boost it? Do I swap it? Do I track it? What do you guys want to see? I'm curious on your thoughts and what you guys want to watch because at the end of the day i love the ek and i'm going to do like my personal touch to it as i do all my cars but i want to see what you guys want to watch too maybe we can do some interesting swaps maybe uh an l15 b7 the one from a 10 chance of guess i maybe we swap that eventually or we boost the b because i've never had a boosted b series i've actually never really owned a b series aside from the crv so this could be my first boosted b we can try boosting it making you know making some power on that and see how it goes and maybe doing a cool swap down the line who knows? All I know is the EK is here to stay. I am not selling it. I've always wanted an EK hatchback, and this has been one of my like goals, like one of my cars I've always wanted. I've never really mentioned it because I, I just couldn't justify the, the money for them. Uh, and then if you get one for a couple thousand bucks, it's clapped out, rotted, but life is crazy. You know, come back from SEMA, which was a huge goal of mine, and I end up winning a car, and I don't know. I just feel like too many good things are happening at once and that usually leads to something bad in my life but i don't know maybe maybe this is just you know my luck changing for a bit and uh yeah enough rambling about myself i just want to say thank you guys thank you to every single person today who is part of this ek journey to pick it up and drop it off it wasn't as easy as i thought it would be and um as you saw in the video, it was, a, it was a struggle, and I and I give guys that are static and stand out like that a lot of credit. Like, if you guys do this all the time, god damn, that, that was a struggle. And I am excited to get into it. Volks, like TE37, authentic TE37 has always been a dream of mine to own, and now I have a pair or a set. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see, but you have to make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you want, share the video, show that, you know, show the world that you sometimes, even though if you have shit luck, sometimes luck turns for you. I didn't think I would ever win this. I thought I just threw away a hundred bucks like I would at a casino because I never win there either, even though I don't go a lot, but you know, I never have this type of luck. So if this is something, if you're that guy, if you are me, just know sometimes that, that $100, that one spot could be you. And uh, I'm testament to that and yeah enough rambling I can talk to you guys forever but you guys don't want to hear it so peace out I love you guys make sure you like comment subscribe we need this we need a shift in the channel and I think this is the good vibes and good juju that we need peace out boys love you guys do it once do it right 